A steady hand and a focused eye are the precious tools of a surgeon. But a little help from a robot is coming in handy for shoulder replacement operations. In an Australian first, the technique is helping get sufferers of arthritis back into the swing of things. For Danny Freeman, this is nothing short of torture. Retired, living on a golf course, but not being able to play. When you're doing stuff, it just something will sting you. It's like someone jabbing you with a, with a dart or something. A debilitating shoulder injury forced the 60-year-old to hang up his clubs. Torn pieces in there floating around. Um, there's a hole in a muscle. And I think there's a tendon tear or something as well. It's also riddled with arthritis, but an Australian first robotic shoulder replacement surgery at Hurstville Private Hospital is about to change his life. The revolutionary technology takes an original CT scan and creates a three-dimensional image of Danny's shoulder, showing precisely where the implant needs to be. And I can play with that till I'm happy with that's the way the implant's to sit. That data then acts like a GPS during the operation, telling the doctor whether they're within a millimetre of the target. Prior to that, we use our own judgement. We eyeball it, we assess whether we've got, whether it looks right, it is right, and that's as good as we can do. One in ten current shoulder replacements fail after ten years and need to be redone. With this new treatment, Danny isn't expected to run into any trouble for at least 20 to 30 years. That's a 50% improvement on traditional shoulder operations. Recovery does take time. It'll be eight months before Danny is back on the green. But studies show, on average, golfers' handicaps improve by 1.4 strokes. For Danny, that's worth the wait. You pay for your sins and you don't do the maintenance when you're a young fella. So when it does catch up with you, to have the best technology and to do it at the right time, you know, that, that's an important thing. Sophie Walsh, Nine News.